Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art, and um, before I get to reading the chapter that uh, I am on the book that we're reading together, Population Control Through Nuclear Pollution, I thought I would vent. It's only going to take me a couple of minutes, but I don't want to use up the book time talking about this, but, you know, we can come up with all these, like, catchy phrases, like, I came up with Uncle Tom Obama, the 90% rule, uh, now my new thing is uh, mystery is a new word for radiation. Uh, the people that have been involved in the anti-nuclear movement for like 20 years, the people who have really been putting their brains to it and they know all this stuff in there, um, I don't get it. I, I mean... We're, we can come up with catchphrases. We can say these ideas to encapsulate it. We see these things posted on Facebook or Instagram that were like, wow, that's exactly right. And nothing changes. Uh, the AEC, the Atomic Energy Commission, the IAEA, the Nuclear Regulatory Co they're all just pricks. Like, honestly, they are just murderous bastards. It's like... What is it going to take for them, those people, like they are such batterers. They are beating the shit out of us as the public. I mean, I've often said that the American people are like battered wives and we're suffering from gaslighting and all of which is true. But the difference between us as a culture and a battered wife is there's a battered women's shelter. There's no culture sh shelter. We can't just go to some fucking place and be protected by these motherfuckers. They're going to keep pounding the shit out of us. So we've got to rethink that paradigm of like, I don't know, maybe what I need to do is start talking to battered women's shelters to figure out what you do to get people safe when they can't leave the batterer. Maybe we got to devise a strategy out of that. I don't know. Reading the story today about the seals, 150, I, I thought I had heard the guy wrong when I spoke to the mammal, uh, an, what's it called, Mars, Mammal Animal, Animal Rescue Service. I should remember that because the guy was super sweet. And he goes in the water every day to collect these animals. And he told me there was like 86 animals so far this year. And normally he collects almost that amount in the whole year. That hurt my feelings a lot. I mean, <laughs> I always talk about my feelings because I'm like, I can feel things. And this is unnecessary. This is the thing that the people that are running the show don't get. They're going to make just as much money fucking figuring out how to fix nuclear pollution than they are creating it. So what the fuck? Like, save the planet. <sighs> See what I mean? I'm at 3 minutes and 20 seconds, and I did not want to take that time up on my little portion that I'm going to do for reading. But I, I don't get it, you guys. Like, uh, I think that the YouTube community is a great place to reach out to sort of not just vent, but connect with people that we would a million years never know like Kevin Blanche I would never to be honest in a million years if I met Kevin in real life I'd probably never talk to him and he never talked to me either so and we I mean we do talk we talk about political ideas but we would never converge uh you know Shane Russell like the guy's fucking way smarter than me <laughs> Like, let's just be really clear, you know. So, or Mark Posid, you know, out in Snowland, wherever it is, he's back past the Mississippi. I mean, I'm a Californian, so everything past the Mississippi is like, eh, I don't really like. Let's just put it to you this way. It would take a lot of money for me to go past the Mississippi once again. I'm going to stay on the west side of the continent. <laughs> this is where I feel safer. Um, I don't know what it's going to take you guys, but I am like flipped out. That seal story today when they kept saying, oh, the mystery, we're going to have to figure out what's causing the demise of the seals. Their fucking food has been killed by nuclear radiation. That's what it is. I mean, even Chuck from 
Oregon Physicians for Social Responsibility tried to calm my fears about the Pacific Ocean being killed because, after all, plutonium's heavy and it falls to the bottom. What's at the bottom? All the stuff that everybody eats. All, all the food that the seals go to. We as humans can't go down where they live. But we have been contaminating it. And not just nuclear. I think the nuclear radiation just, boom, pushed us off the edge. Because prior to this, we were just pouring all kinds of shit into the oceans. And it was going to be a long, slow slog. But now with the nuclear radiation, God knows how the radiation is interacting with all the other pollutants that are in the bottom of the ocean. Or all the other radioactive contaminants that we weren't told about. And how they really interact. Because let me tell you what, when, you know how they frack? They use nuclear energy to frack. Nuclear contaminants are released from the earth and they actually use it too. And, and let's just don't forget the depleted uranium, the illegal depleted uranium bombs that are regularly used now. I mean, doesn't the queen have enough money? The uranium mines need to be shut down now. And you know what? She would love for us to really believe that she's a freaking reptilian. Because then she would get free off of her responsibility to what she's doing to the fucking planet. Exactly right, Queenie. And no offense, but I don't think you're from God. I think you're just a super rich family who's been had money handed down to you age after age after age. And for some fucking reason, the people in England think that you need to be given a lot more money. But that's you guys' system. You can do what you want. But the thing is, your uranium plants... They're harming the planet, and they need to go. And you need to stop controlling the United States government and all their other bullshit, participating with the industrial military complex. So here I go, you guys. I'm at seven minutes. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, we need ideas. I, I mean, this is not, I mean, please subscribe and pass my channel around so we can, like, get this super viral, so we can get this message out. So that scientists will begin to stop lying and being complicit because they need their paychecks. We need people to be willing to, like, stand up for integrity. And if that means you go without an income, it means you go without an income. Or it means you find a different way to make an income. If you can't, I mean, it is outrageous. I mean, seriously, Kathleen Higley. Kathleen Higley, I looked her up on the Internet. You know what? She has her own private corporation with her own address. That's the only address I could find for her. And uh, it is a street address. It's not a street, if you know what I mean. So, no protesting her. Smart lady. Uh, I am going to protest on 3-11-15 at the Oregon State University and I, you know, I wish I could say I was going to do it sooner than that, but I honestly cannot because I'm working. I have the corporate filing deadlines coming up and too much work. So, <clears throat> however, if anybody in Oregon wants to do a protest at um, Oregon State University on, uh, like, February 27th, the day before Helen Caldecott's symposium, like that Friday or that week, the last week in February, I will show up with you because that's the other date. I think I'm going to do a protest out there very quickly, just take a few hours off and just go stand out there. And I'll post that up for you. But anyways, I'm going to end here. I'm, I feel all talked out, but I'm just like flipped out. That It's a mystery. It's a mystery. We have no idea why the seals are starving. Why the baby seals? Where are their parents? Where the baby seals are starving? And what happened to the starfish? Oh my gosh! And the sardines? And why is there an increase in encephalitis up in Washington near Hanford? Why do we have a bunch of babies being born with encephalitis up there? And the government's like, oh, not connected to nuclear. Really? The fucking 90% rule has got to end. And we have to start identifying it as the 90% rule. And I mean, to the point where it becomes a cultural known. What's the 90% rule? The stupid motherfuckers in the nuclear industry underreport negative effects on the human body by 90% at least. 
The standards that we're reading in this book right now from 1970, they were concerned because the standards were grossly, grossly underestimated from what Linus Pauling said. He won a Nobel Peace Prize about what nuclear does to the human body. And the standards that were accepted by the Atomic Energy Commission in that those days, which is now the NRC, because they were oh, so mingled up that the Congress decided to give them a new name. Same bullshit, different name. Anyways, the reason that they're bound up together, you know, it, it's because they just are owned by the industry. They're promoters of nuclear industry. That is the issue. Now, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission was meant to contain it, but it really was not. It never has. Which is why I'm reading this book. And I'm not going to, I'll read it, I'm going to do this in a separate post. You can see now I'm going 10 minutes. That story about the seals got to me, to me today. And hearing Kevin talk about how we created Uncle Tom Obama, we did not create it, I created it. I, I sent Obama a case of Uncle Tom's cabin the day he signed Obamacare. Not because I'm a fucking teabagger and I don't want government blah blah blah. I exactly the opposite. We need socialized medicine in this country like rational human beings. We have a government. What's it for? Not to pay these fucking corporate pricks who are killing the planet. But we need our government to demand our tax dollars go to pay for science to figure out how to stop the harm, that the pollution that the Nuclear Regulatory Commission has allowed, what the Atomic Energy Commission has been doing us to uh, since the last 60 years, what the energy industry has been doing to us for the last 100 years. It is a cataclysmic event, a, co a big colossal like dumb fuckery of like a bunch of shit coming together and today they reported in the newspaper that they have no idea why the seals are dying really you stupid motherfuckers honest to god I thought I was really gonna split a gut I'm just as mad now after 12 minutes of being pissed off about it as I was then but what is it going to take? Uncle Tom Obama is not enough to shock anybody. They're like, oh, yeah, that's because he is. Okay. So then what? Let them eat yellow cake. That's what Kevin's idea was. I think that's a great idea. Let them eat yellow cake. But guess what? That doesn't shock anybody either. Nothing works to get people to, like, demand, to get out into the street to every single one of your energy plants. Like, we have got to stop allowing it. I know we have to buy electricity. I know this. I, you know, I watch television. I'm not going to apologize. I watch television. I do all that other bullshit. Like, honestly, I'm just like an American. Look at me. I'm just like an average American woman. And what is it going to take? There is no shelter for a battered culture. So we just have to decide. You know what we did when I was a kid? You know how we made my dad stop beating the shit out of us? We stood up to him. My dad was beating the shit out of my sister. There was four of us left at home. My dad was just like decided he needed to fucking beat the shit out of my sister. So the three of us, we went out back. My little sister grabbed a brick. I grabbed a, a shovel, my other sister grabbed some fucking stick, and we went in the door. We, we, oh, he didn't even fucking lock the door when he was beating the shit out of people. He didn't even care at that point. We just opened the door and we told him, stop. He looked at us and started laughing. He thought that was hysterical. He thought it was just completely, like, off. It made him laugh that he had eight kids, and we were the first group of them that decided, fuck you, you're not hitting us anymore. And you know what? He never hit any of us after that. I think it shocked the fuck out of him. So maybe, I don't know, I'm not saying pick up arms. I'm just saying, you know what? If we all just called our congressmen, center, millions of us, and, like, the issue is people do not know the severity of the situation because the newspapers downplay it, which is what pissed me off in the first place about this article. 
Anyways, I want ideas. Please subscribe and please post your ideas and please respond and please share this message. And I'm going to use a Creative Commons. You can mess with it however you want and delete it and whatever. But even if you just cut this out and use it for your own shit, I don't care. So, um... Put your courage feet on, because guess what? We need them, you know? You know how you put your courage feet on? Like this. You just go... Put your courage feet on. That's it. You just do it. Even when you're scared, you put your courage feet on, because guess what? Life is scary, whatever. That's what I learned a long fucking time ago. Life is scary, and guess what? There's still a lot of joy, a lot of happiness... A lot of magnificent things going on on this planet. And I personally am not going to let them fucking kill all the sea lions and all the ocean life without at least fucking demanding they stop these stupid motherfuckers. And our tax dollars can make it stop. And we could actually find the solution, which is our responsibility because we fucking did it. Our government did it. Oh my god, you guys. I, I, honestly, this really makes me mad. You see, I'm going into 16 minutes, and this is why I had to post it separate from reading on the video, because this really pisses me off. Like, we have got to think of something better than Uncle Tom Obama and let them eat yellow cake. We have to think of something better. We have to actually do something better. Not, or maybe it's like, hmm, maybe what we ought to do is like, Start doing some tapping on it. <laughs> I like the whole tapping idea, but I mean, we have to think about what we want. Like, the goal. My goal, this is what I think would be the best thing, is to, like, immediately shut down all the nuclear power plants and have a peace treaty around the world where Russia, United States, China said, guess what, we're not selling arms and supplies to anybody anymore and the major players just said, no, no more guns. We're not selling any more guns to anyone. No more weapons. No more bullets. No more, you know, strategic assistance. Zero. And in 60 days, the whole fucking shit would be done because they'd shoot out whatever bullets they fucking got. Or, or maybe that's the bad part is maybe they have some really bad ones that could really hurt us, which is probably why they don't do it. See, fuck. this is the hard part about like figuring out how to get them to fucking stop you guys. Ah. <laughs> so anyways, I really am going to end here. But as you can see, this is just a person in Eugene, Oregon. Asking the universe for answers. And guess what? I know we'll get them. So I hope you're part of the answers. Put your answers there. Bye.